How are you all doing today? Thank you for joining me in storytelling second episode. Okay, my name is Marie and I work here at the Early On. And today we are going to be reviewing the song that Arani has introduced, which is Wearing My Glasses by Lori Berkner. And it was introduced in episode one. So we're going to be doing the same movements and action and song. And we are going to be reading a book which is called The Little Red Hen. And we are also going to be doing a craft activity which is making a pretend birthday cake, okay? Because children love birthdays and a birthday cake would really make them happy. So why not make a craft about birthday cakes, pretend birthday cakes? Okay, so let's try to remember the actions of the song. So we have to show our glasses by putting our hands just like this, two little circles, and we're gonna pretend to put it on. And we're gonna show that we have a pretend book by putting our hands together, just like this. And we're gonna pretend to be reading, so open up the book, and we're gonna pretend to read. We read, 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 and we're gonna put our glasses on. We look, look, look. We take off our glasses, and we have the book, and we close it. Whoops, we close the book. Okay, so let's do that again. Here we go, show your glasses. I put on my glasses. I open up the book, and we're gonna read. I read, read, read. Put glasses on. I look, look, look. I put down my glasses. Ready, and we're gonna close the book. And whoops, close up the book. Let's try to see if we can find something inside the book. Let's open our book. <gasps> Whoa, my book has a horn of a unicorn. Oh my goodness, close the book. Let's try again. Let's open my book and see what I have here. Let's do this action together. Ready? And open. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a pineapple and wearing a sunglass. Sunglasses. Okay, so let's close that book again. Oop. Let's see what other things are inside the book. Okay, ready? We're going to open it again. Whoops. Oh, they can jump. There's bunny ears on my book. I wonder if there's a real bunny inside. Okay, close the book. That was fun. Okay, we're going to sing our song together. And I hope that parents, grandparents, caregivers, please sing along with your child. Okay, here we go. Show me your glasses. I put on my glasses, I open up my book. I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoops, close up the book one more time. I put on my glasses, I open up my book. I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoops, close up the book. Yay! Give yourselves a big round of applause for doing a great job. Show me a thumbs up. Okay, children, let's get ready for our storytelling. Make sure that you're sitting down nicely. Your ears are listening. Your mouth is quiet so that you can hear. And we're going to put our hands on our lap. Okay, so for today's story, it's The Little Red Hen by Paul Galdon. The Little Red Hen Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. And the dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes. She made the beds. 
She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. And one day she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made fire on the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with a fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Soon, a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I, I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. But the little red hen said, all by myself, I planted the wheat, I tended the wheat, I cut the wheat, I took the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour, and all by myself, I gathered the sticks, I built the fire, I mixed the cake, and all by myself, I am going to eat it. And so she did to the very last crumb. After that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. The end. Okay, so we're moving on to our craft activity and we are going to be making a pretend birthday cake. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the materials are in just a second. I'll tell you the materials that we will need to make our pretend birthday cake. So, ta-da! Okay, 
So the first material that we need is we need to find a carton or a box. So for this episode, I am going, or for this project, I am going to be using a milk carton. But you can use a box, a small box at home. And you would need some colored paper if you have at home. If you don't have any colored paper at home, then you can definitely just use a scratch paper, scrap paper, and then let your child color the paper. That's okay too. You need a sturdy cardboard. Any type of cardboard will do. And you would need to get some markers. So with markers, you can ask your child to be involved by choosing five colors that they want to use to make their pretend birthday cake. And you would need tape. You would need glue. So if you have the liquid glue or you have the glue stick, that's also fine. And if you have child scissors, if you'd like your child to help you cut, that'd be great. Adult scissors for adults. And if you have a cutter, it will make your life easier. So adults, please make sure that you your child's not close to you when you're using the cutter okay so this is the cutter that i have okay so the first thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to cover the carton or for me it's the milk carton with the colored paper okay let me just move some things aside so it's not too crowded okay so for me, I chose to cover my carton with the yellow neon paper. And I'm gonna get my tape for that as well. And I'm just gonna wrap the body of the carton. Just like this. Ask your child to participate is you can cut some piece of tape for them and you can ask them to pass it to you so you can cut the pieces of tape and you can stick it on the edge of a table and you can just ask them to please pass one piece of tape at a time and then they can also help press the tape onto the carton that all the edges are secure and it's not gonna fall so the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna choose which side of the carton we would like to poke some holes so that we can stick our decor on top of on top and on the sides of the pretend case okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to poke some holes. So with that, I am gonna be using a cutter. So with this one, you can ask your child how many pieces would they like to put on their cake. So you can ask them from a range of one to 10. Um, that is a doable number of how many things you can put. So ask them from a range of one to 10, how many they would like to see. Okay, so right now I'm just going to be cutting little holes onto the carton. So adults, you will be doing that job, okay? So let me just show that to you. And while you are cutting the spaces onto the cake, you can ask your child to draw some pictures in a piece of paper, in the colored papers. And I'm just gonna put this aside. And you can ask them to draw whatever they like. So the easiest thing if they say they don't know what to do, um, any scribble is, is okay for younger kids. So toddlers, they can just scribble on the paper. And of course, parents, you would have to cut the pictures for them or the scribbles that they made. But for preschoolers, 
who are able to identify some basic shapes. So you can also do that, especially if you have a guide for them to copy and they can definitely follow through, okay? So for me, I'm gonna draw a heart because that's a basic shape that preschoolers know how to do. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna draw a big heart. You can even draw a happy face. So for me, I drew a heart. And so depending on how many materials you would your child likes to put on the cake so that's how many images that you're gonna do so right now I'm just going to cut it after you've cut the pieces parents you would also need to do this part so if you have a piece of carton you want to cut thin strips of carton with varying lengths so you can create a tall one or a short one so that when you see your cake you can clearly see um, the design that you have so for me I'm gonna cut one tall one and one short one If you have glue at home, you're going to stick the back of your picture. And you can let the children do this because it's just glue, it's washable. So tell them that they can put the glue behind. And they're going to get one of the pieces of cartons that you have cut. And you're going to Stick it just like this, okay? And once you are done, you collect all the pieces that you have. And I'm going to show you how the product will look like. Now that you have your decor displayed on top of the cake, you can involve your child by asking them to pick a few of their favorite colors. And this is also a nice introduction for them to learn about making lines, making curves, and making some squiggles on the cake. So you can tell them to decorate it. So I'm just gonna decorate my really fast for this video. So you can take turns putting in the decor. You can take turns decorating your cake line by line. You can introduce new vocabulary as what I've said earlier. You can introduce lines, short, long. You can have curves, small curves, bigger curves. And with this, this is a learning opportunity and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a cake for your child to feel proud that they felt involved and they are involved and for parents to build that connection with your child. So as much as possible to 
keep them busy, keep them engaged, keep them learning. It's very important to always do activities with them. And once they're done or you you think that they're not interested anymore, then you can put it away and maybe after two weeks you can present it again and bringing it bring it out so that their interest will be back there okay and your toys don't need to be expensive so these are materials that you can find at home right so any piece of carton any piece of paper any type of art material that you have you can use thank you families we'll see you again bye